currently on this beautiful Friday morning and it is Friday again I can't believe how fast these weeks are going and here we've got a 2018 Citroen Berlingo van which is having a timing belt and water pump replacement first things first we're going to take the driver's side front wheel off and remove all the inner wheel arching so we can gain access to the crank pulley now get yourself a jack and a block of wood and put it underneath the sump because we need, we need to remove this engine mount here now that we've got the mount out make sure that you put your bolts back in the holes and then that way you're not losing them now let's move around to the upper timing cover um, there's two t30s on this metal bracket holding the fuel pipes in make sure everything's unclipped and then we can make a start taking all the sevens out now that we've got the upper timing cover off we need to remove this lower engine mount now with four sixteens if you jack the engine up high enough it'll just come out nice and easy now that i've got the engine mount out of the way look at that day got a tooth missing off the belt now i drove this vehicle on the ramp yesterday and it was perfect definition of a very 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 lucky customer anyway let's get a 15 mil now on the tensioner and get yourself a little uh, bar just to lock it pull it back and then we can get the alternate belt off now that we've got the vehicle in the air you can drop the engine down and it'll just balance on the dry shaft on the subframe there and it'll support the engine for you let's get an 18 mil now remove this crankshaft pulley and the lower timing cover now how I do these belts, I do everything from the bottom to start with, so the removal of it, I do it all from underneath. Uh, there's a little hole there in the pickup ring, put your tool through and that will lock straight into the oil pump housing, and then that tool then will go into the camshaft. Now that we've got all the engine timed up and pinned up, we can get a 13mm out and just pack that tensioner off, and then we can remove the timing belt. And there we have it, that is one old timing belt removed. Oh look at that. That is, I'm shocked on that. I'm surprised it was even still running. Anyway, now that we've got that removed, we can jump now and remove the water pump and do all the eight mils and get that off. Now get yourself your lovely little receptacle and a little pry bar, and that sh you should be able to. Just at the corner there, prise it open, and let all the coolant drain into your receptacle. And there you have it, that is one water pump removed. Now, I've done hundreds of these and I've never seen this. It's that little plastic piece in there. I thought, what the hell's that? Now, this van, I don't know how it's even running on it, how it hasn't been overheating. The impellers broke up on the water pump. I've never seen that happen. I've, I've seen them sheared off. But I've never seen them actually break in half. Anyway, let's get a brand new one on. Now, before we put the new water pump back on, uh, we're gonna clean the surface down. And what I use is a little bit of 3M Scotch pad um when you're fitting the gaskets you do not need to put any sealant on them like it says on the sticker do not use sealant anyway let's get it back on now we've got the water pump fitted which is eight newton, uh, nine newton meters on the water pump it doesn't sound a lot but it's more than enough we've got the guide which is 39 newton meters and then we can fit the camshaft belt now and we can get that tension and torqued up to 30 newton meters is it yeah 30 newton meters and there you have it, that is one timing belt fitted. Uh, we're just going to pull these pins out now, out of the cam and the crankshaft. We're going to turn the engine over twice and make sure that these pins go back in nice and smoothly. And then we can, let's see, just get it built back up. Now we've got it all put back together, we're going to refill the coolant system with some nice, fresh antifreeze. Now that we've finished the topping the coolant up, we're going to get in the car now and give it a big start. Oh, have to breathe in. Absolutely perfect. And there you have it, that is one timer belt and water pump replacement on a little Citroen Berlingo van. Uh, and of course, as you've seen, a very, very, very lucky customer. Uh, I'm just going to get it up to temperature now, make sure that the cooling fans are cutting in, take it down the road for a little bit of a test drive, and yeah, let's get it set. 